Welcome to Simply Excel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to highlight overdue dates with conditional formatting. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel, please, for more Excel tips. Now let's get on with the tutorial. First thing we need to do is decide which cells we need to highlight when the conditions are met. In this example, I'm going to highlight the due date of the invoice. I'll simply highlight the cells I want to format. And once we've highlighted our cells, we'll come up to conditional formatting and select a new rule. Now, there are other rules that are already built in. There's various things you can use that come out of the box. In this instance, we're going to create our own rule because we want to use a formula to determine whether we want to highlight the cell. The type of rule we want to use is a formula to determine which cells to format. And when we're using a formula, it has to be something that returns either a true or false result. For this example, we're going to look at two dates which are more than 28 days in the past. So we're going to use the today function to find today's date. We're going to subtract the due date. Now you'll notice if we click in the cell, it's put an absolute cell reference, which is only ever going to refer to cell E2. So rather than clicking on the cell, we need to type in our cell reference of E2. That way, the formula will get applied down each row and look at each individual row's values. So we're looking for today minus E2 is greater than 28. And then we're going to select the format that we want to set. And I'm simply going to highlight my text in red so it stands out. Click OK on that screen and then click OK on our new rule. And you'll see that every due date that occurs more than 28 days in the past is now highlighted red. To expand on this, we're going to look at how we can combine that due date with another criteria. For example, now we've got how much of the invoice has been paid and what the outstanding balance is. And you'll see that even when we've got an outstanding balance of zero, because our due date's gone past, we're highlighting that as outstanding. Let's take a look at how we combine those two things. This time we're going to highlight the outstanding balance. So again, select the cells that I want to format. Come to conditional formatting, new rule, and again we're going to use a formula to determine which cells to format. In this case, we're going to use equals and because we're going to use multiple criteria within our formula. So the first one's going to be the same as our previous calculation, which is that today minus our due date, which is column E, is greater than 28, and then a comma, and the second half of our and is going to be that our outstanding balance, which is column G, is greater than zero. Close our brackets around that formula. Again, we're just going to format the text if this is true. And now we're only highlighting those invoices where there is both an outstanding balance and the due date is passed. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please do like and subscribe to my channel for more Excel tips. Thanks for watching.